Hi, everyone. I'm excited to give you an update on our most recent Workforce Development Committee meeting. Uh, the group now is 50 members strong and represents 30 employers, trainers, career service providers, nonprofits, and foundations. And uh, our most recent discussion was full of great information, and we identified some great opportunities and some new initiatives. And I want to share that with you. Uh, Johnny Nelson joined us today. He's with the New York State Department of Labor, and he told us uh, the latest economic uh, numbers for the region. For the Hudson Valley in July, we had an unemployment rate of 13.6 and uh, 114,000 people unemployed. That's a staggering number and statistic, and uh, we're going to be focused on helping to reduce that number as quickly as possible by working together. We're very happy that we've already created a, a talent ecosystem where we're sharing information and working together to identify opportunities and fill open positions. And uh, Johnny also told us about some hiring opportunities with employers in the region. And a lot of those opportunities are financial and IT, construction and healthcare jobs in those sectors. And uh, the group members also shared some updates and we heard from Manhattanville and Iona and their new nursing programs, which adds to the mix and allows us to help meet the nursing demand. And we expect those numbers to increase with uh, some of the retirement trends that we're seeing. And also we heard from PACE and they have some new master's programs and in information systems and cybersecurity. And um, Iona also told us about a, a new TRIO grant that they got and some positions that they're looking to fill with that grant. And uh, I also announced that we uh, this summer created a Westchester Workforce uh, Grant Partners, and we're going to be identifying some new uh, grant opportunities to work on together. And the committee is also looking for ways to reimagine the workforce by focusing on uh, diversity and inclusion. And then uh, lastly, I want to mention that um, there's a new report that uh, WCA issued towards a stronger future. And that report focuses on some different initiatives that we're going to be focused on. And they include uh, healthcare and bioscience, real estate and housing, digital connectivity, energy and sustainability. And our workforce committee is going to be involved in many of those initiatives, uh, working together to help with the economic recovery and um, and help to stimulate growth in our region to get us back to where we were just uh, six or seven months ago. Uh, so that's today's report and I look forward to giving you an update uh, in the near future and uh, really appreciate all the collaboration and the partnership that we're seeing in the region. Take care everybody.